Many years ago there was an exclusive boarding school in England with a scout squad. The scout leader was a teacher, and once a month, on weekends, he took scouts out on a hike. There was one boy in the scout squad who was very naughty. His name was Stanley Jenkins, and he was always on edge. No matter how many times the teacher chastised him, he never listened. One weekend, the scouts set out on a hike through the English countryside. They received permission to camp on farmland. The site was on the crest of a hill overlooking a deep valley. The teacher warned the boys not to wander alone and told them that under no circumstances should they go down into the valley. While the teacher and other scouts pitched tents, Stanley Jenkins and his friends sat on the grass. They were too lazy to help camp. Instead, they went in search of some dirty trick they could do. Staring out into the valley, Stanley Jenkins noticed a field surrounded by a barbed wire fence. There was an old well in one corner of the field. The field looked like it had never been used. It was overgrown with weeds and blackberries. And then they saw the farmer who owned this land. He walked with his dog. As the farmer passed by, Stanley Jenkins waved his hand and the farmer stopped to talk. What's down there in the field? Asked Stanley Jenkins. This is a well of wishes, replied the farmer. But you can't go down there. I hope your teacher told you that. Well of wishes? Stanley Jenkins asked. Are you saying that if you throw some money down the well, you can make a wish? The farmer grinned grimly. I don't know, he said, that's what it's called, but no one here comes close to the well of desires. In all the years that I have lived here, I have never set foot on this field. What's the matter with him? Stanley Jenkins asked. All I know is that cows and sheep stay away from him. Even my old dog wouldn't walk through this field, and neither do you guys, if you have brains. They say there are ghosts. Ghosts. Stanley Jenkins chuckled. Three women and one man, the farmer replied seriously. Who are they? Stanley Jenkins asked. All this happened before me, said the farmer, but I was told that they died in the well. Or were found dead in it. I saw them once. Dusk fell, and I stood on this very ridge. My old dog saw them too. They came out of the bushes and crawled around. Four of them. Just black rags and white bones. I felt like I could hear their bones pounding as they moved. I couldn't see their faces. All I could see were their teeth. The boys gasped in unison. Stanley Jenkins chuckled. What happened then? He asked. I don't know, the farmer replied. My old dog ran away and I ran after her. So take my advice, boys. Stay out of this wishing well. With these words, the farmer raised his hat and left. The boys watched him go. What nonsense, said Stanley Jenkins. I don't believe a single word. The next evening, the teacher gathered the scouts and counted the votes. He noticed that one of the boys had disappeared. After a roll call, he found out that the missing boy was Stanley Jenkins. None of the other scouts seemed to have any idea where he was. Then one boy spoke up, maybe he went down to the well of wishes, sir, he suggested. The teacher's face turned pale. Well of wishes? He gasped. But you were all given strict instructions not to go down there. The scouts followed the teacher as he climbed to the top of the ridge and looked down into the valley. The light was dying out, 
It was getting cold, but there was not the slightest breath of wind in the air. Can anyone see him? Asked the teacher. Here he is, said one of the boys, climbing over a barbed wire fence. Can you see him? Yes, it's him, said the other boy. I recognize his sweater. Now he is heading for the well of wishes. That little idiot! Growled the teacher. At that moment, one of the boys screamed shrilly and covered his eyes with his hands. What is this black thing on the path? Another boy shouted. Crawling on all fours. This is a woman. Oh my god. Don't let me look at her. Stop it. The teacher said loudly. Pull yourself together. I'm going to go down there. Hancock and Fart Levy, run to the farmer's house and call for help. You guys stay here and don't move. The teacher ran away, leaving the boys alone on the ridge of the hill, looking down at the field below. To their horror, they saw another black figure emerge from the bushes. Then again and again. They saw Stanley Jenkins heading towards the wishing well. He seemed oblivious to the approaching black figures, shuffling forward with outstretched hands. The boys started screaming as loud as they could, trying to warn him. Approaching the wishing well, Stanley Jenkins seemed to hear their screams. Suddenly he stopped and turned around. Then he let out a cry more piercing and terrible than any of the boys on the ridge, but it was too late. Black pieces approached him until he was surrounded on all sides. Then they pounced on him. The boys watched in frightened silence at what was happening below. They could hardly breathe as they watched this terrible struggle. The hood of one of the figures fell back revealing a white skull with long strands of hair. Their gnarled, bony fingers tore at Stanley Jenkins, and soon his terrible screams ceased. The boys noticed their teacher running towards the field. He climbed over the barbed wire fence, but then stopped and did not move anymore. The farmer arrived with several police officers. The boys pointed to the field below and shouted, they caught him. They grabbed him. Again and again. The police ran down into the valley. The headmaster came and all the boys were taken back to school. Some of them were so traumatized that they later left school. The teacher stayed there with the police all night. The next morning, at dawn, they found what was left of Stanley Jenkins at the bottom of the wishing well. It was torn to pieces. His parents came to collect the remains. The farmer set up another barbed wire fence to surround the field and erected large signs with the words dangerous and do not approach in big red letters. Locals say that five ghostly black figures are now roaming the field. Three women, a man, and a little boy. Subscribe to the channel not to miss new stories.